Hey, what is going on guys? I am the Explosive Gamer and welcome to my spoiler review of Transformers Age of Extinction. So if you have not seen the movie yet, turn out now, turn away, go and uh, watch the non-spoiler review. That is more of me talking about the movie and, and trying and actually succeeding and not ruining it at all for anybody. And I watched over it and knew I knew everything there pretty much. Or in speculation, somehow knew that the something in there was true or right or wrong or whatever that was that I said there. I knew all of that or mostly knew all of that before the movie or kind of knew it might probably would happen before the movie. So it, it, it's it, nothing there would ruin the movie for you guys. So go back there, check it out and watch that if you want to see any, know anything about Transformers Age of Extinction. Here is one for any of you who have seen the movie or are no, do not plan on seeing the movie or do not care if you, I ruin it for you. So I have about like two, two and a half pages of notes here just to, just to kind of guideline me through this. Um, anyway, starting off the beginning of the movie um, that, that I can really remember is when Ratchet was, uh, was being hunted by the humans as we saw in the trailers um anyway and then in the last trailer that i remember like the last big big trailer that came out when lockdown came out of the water those are from the same place that's the same scene same place lockdown comes out and shoots ratchet right in the chest and then so whatever that stuff goes down lockdown was hired by uh what was it harold attinger or yeah it was harold attinger of the cia he was locked and was hired by him to hunt Optimus Prime so they could get uh, so that uh, Stanley Tucci's character Joshua Jones or Jonah or Jones, I think it was. It was, it was Joshua something that sounded chick. It's like a chick name, Joshua Jane, something like that. Anyway, um, so he could get this bomb called the Seed, which the Seed uh, is is. Um, what in the beginning of the movie, like the very beginning of the movie, is what was dropped by the creators of the Transformers. Of the, it was it, it meta metalized everything and cyberformed pretty much the, the planet is what they did to the, and that's what they it, apparently was that's what they thought that happened instead of a meteor. That's what happened in the as the creators so called in the movie they came and dropped bombs like the seed as well as other things to. Um, cyber form the, the surface of the planet which also killing the dinosaurs or most of the dinosaurs and stuff like that and then they would mine up all this transformium as they call it as the scientists call it, the work for Stanley Tucci's character and they mine it all up and uh, you know take it back and build transformers so what lockdown was hired to do and paid to do in the first place was find Optimus Prime and bring him back to the creators because he they didn't want him doing whatever. So that he did not succeed in, obviously. But um, so he ended up brutally, brutally finishing off Ratchet after ruining him completely to the point of his space falling apart and he couldn't move at all. And then um, he wa Lockdown comes up and walks past all the humans um, and and like stabs this not hook thing but like a spark extractor type thing that like comes out of his hand and it goes right into Ratchet's chest and pulls out the spark and then pulls it back into into lockdown as like a trophy so wow we're already four minutes in and i'm not even off the beginning of the movie this is gonna be a long video um or a couple videos i don't know anyway um so the cia black ops in lockdown are hunting the Transformers, Autobots, Decepticons, all that. The in in the in Joshua's or the Stanley Tucci's whatever lab, so to speak, they have Megatron's head and Sentinel Prime's head that are both being analyzed and translated. All the thoughts and all that that are happening there are being translated by uh, what? Well, damn it! What's his name? It's 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 Wheelie's character friend, like character friend that was in. Um, uh, Dark of the Moon, I can't remember his name, We're right off the top of my head right now, pardon me. Um, they're being, it's being analyzed by him who has so, somehow survived that crash with Wheelie, but Wheelie did not, as far as we know. 
But so anyway, he's analyzing that, and that's what they're putting. Well, both Sentinel Prime and uh, Megatron, both of that, all of that, they're putting into Galvatron, which is was uh, supposed to be coded and everything. They coded the Transformium to turn into. It's almost supposed to look like Optimus, but Megatron's thoughts and everything were taking over. And, and actually kept coding, uh, over overwriting and overcoding all of what the humans were doing to try to uh, make the Galvatron look like Optimus and keep turning out like Megatron and keep turning out badass as, as one of them says. Looks too badass but um, Joshua is trying to make it look more likable to the humans and more, uh, whoops, more appealing I guess and non-scary so that it could be sold on the market and not be look threatening or, or relatively threatening. So, from this moving on, uh, both him and both Galvatron and Stinger overwrite, per se, or, or well, they find out that they overwrite because after the Autobots break in to the uh, the KSI building in Chicago, they break into this building and run through and everything through human environments not like standing in uh, on streets and whatever or anything they walk right through the building upstairs down sh elevator shafts and all that and this here is where uh drift's third mode the helicopter mode comes into play mostly and that's really it so he transforms and carries bumblebee up to the top floor where the where uh harold attinger um is holding or well uh interrogating so to speak Cade, which mark Wahlberg's character and it, it's pretty serious, I, I gotta say. So he, he was like, I'm gonna say this once. Where is Optimus Prime? So then Bumblebee comes up, takes Kate's Cade, and then Harold Attinger runs off somewhere. And then they drop back down, and then they go in and talk to Joshua, who says, we don't need you anymore, and all that stuff, to, to Optimus. Then Optimus backs up and walks and leaves and goes. And then Crosshairs is what... Well, and, and kind of Hound, too, are like... Why didn't we kill him, or why didn't we uh, take him, or something like that? More of like a, a evil standpoint, which on on the um in this movie, Optimus and all the other Autobots are showing more of a distaste, not hate, but distaste for all humans, aside from Cade and Tessa and um, Jack Rayner's character uh, Shane. That's it. Um, anyway, but all after all of this, Optimus, Crosshairs, uh, Hound, Bumblebee, Drift are all kind of showing a distaste for humans. Not so much a hate, because hate would be they go up and kill him, but distaste, because Optimus is even going, I will kill the person who created this problem. So he wanted to kill Harold Attinger, pretty much. So, near and towards the end of the movie, they find out that the seed is, um, in Galvatron is whatever, after he overwrites the, the power of everything there, and after that, overwrites their coding, his coding, takes out all the humans that are in the, in the, in Japan, I think it was Japan or China, Beijing. It was Beijing, um, in, in that in that um, uh, in the in the warehouse sort of thing, and they, he takes them all out and then powers up all of the other man-made Viacon type things, and Singer and, and overwrites their coding as well, and then they go out and fight the Autobots and Dinobots and all that and lock down. Well, not really lock down, but still they fight like that, and then after all this, they uh, so and then so. All of Galvatron was doing is trying to get the seed in Cyberform, the biggest city on Earth. So, like, uh, Hong Kong, it was supposed to be Shanghai, that he wanted to Cyberform all of that. Because the seed could even, like, it was surprisingly small. It was about uh, just, uh, three feet tall and, like, uh, two feet thick. Or, no, like a foot thick, maybe. Maybe a little bit less than that. Maybe a little bit more taller, too. I don't know exactly. But it for that size, it can explode to the to the um, radius of a tactical nuke, and they were carrying that around the biggest city. Instead of leaving, they kept going towards the middle and end up in the middle, which was stupid. Until the end, they did not leave at all, and they left right at the end. And then Optimus was fighting lockdown and one and all that. After all of that, they are stupid. I gotta say, instead of leaving, they had to whatever and it was it was stupid man it was stupid anyway uh what else do i want to talk about uh hmm anyway uh after lockdown capture this is going back into the to back to when they're still in the u.s 
Lockdown captures Optimus. We all knew that was going to happen. Tessa was in the car that was behind, or Optimus was kind of laying on. Tessa was in that, so she got pulled up into Lockdown's night ship as well. And um, in this, they it stops in Chicago to drop off to, to drop off the seed and take Optimus and leave. So at, after during all this, Crosshairs Drift and Bumblebee 